Good morning. Happy, what's this? Wednesday. Um, well, is there a tie between Mona Scott Young and her employees <laughs> and their divorces? She's got one on the West Coast getting divorced, one on the East Coast getting divorced. Cardi B just filed a divorce from Offset. And Ray J filed divorce from Princess. Now, I don't live the life of the rich and famous. And I don't know what you beautiful people do out here with money. So I, I can't understand you guys is relationship dynamic my bad y'all I got my arm on this uh, armrest and I gotta hold um, my phone because I don't this my clip uh, my clip thingy doesn't work in here but um I don't know do you think it's just like too much money involved too much temptation involved um to where it's difficult to sustain a relationship, a true and meaningful and loving relationship. I think that if you're in that lifestyle and you're privy to a lot of things, like I don't feel like you should try to normalize your life. I don't feel like you should live like us common folk because you have way too much going on. You know, like you, you, you're not normal. Your life is not normal. There's always someone after you. There's always someone trying to sleep with you. Um, there's this appetite, this heavy appetite for variety in uh, a lot of these men. You know, so it's like when you try to put yourself in our box, the, the box of the broke people, <laughs> you're going to fail, sir and ma'am, because you don't know what it's like to be down here and sustain a regular life. You don't live a regular life. And I feel like you guys are trying your hardest to normalize things. And some celebrities do it very well. Look at uh, Denzel and his wife. There's a lot of people who are famous who figure it out. But you people, like you loving hip-hop people, y'all are out here in these clubs. Y'all got these club promos and you know things to do to make money and there's always someone like lingering in the background waiting to take your man take your woman take your money get close to you to get into your pockets and live your lifestyle like and we don't have that on common ground like we i mean it's it's something like that but it ain't it's nothing like on your level but i wonder does reality TV, especially ratchet reality TV, like lo the Love and Hip Hop franchise, y'all, that is, it's just so ratchet. It's so ratchet. Does it portray, um, does it portray a certain lifestyle that, um, I guess I should say this, no, scratch that. Does it lead people to think that these people are, are normal and they're regular everyday people and all they do every day is go meet for drinks and get into it? Because in life, nobody's doing it. Nobody's going to lunch every day, meeting up with their enemies just to throw drinks at each other and get to swinging. Like, especially your ass is in your late 30s early 40s you trash if you're actually doing that because you should you should know at that point in life you should have the tools to <laughs> um, resolve conflict not be out here acting a damn fool especially on TV representing a community of, of people but I digress yeah, I, I, my personal beliefs is Mona, I feel like she exploits people for money. But a lot of people, these jobs that we work exploit us for money. Like, that, that's the thing. The boss is always going to make you, push you to the limit 
to where it can bring in a more revenue that is the nature of business that is the art of business and that is how business works and how people sustain life wealthy lives so it's a game you throw yourself out there and you see what happens and a lot of these people are getting a short end of the stick because they're finding out on the other side of that because for one, they are regular people until they hit that screen. We don't hear these people. We don't know these people. And all of a sudden, they're thrown in our face and we fall in love with their personalities. Boom, they rich. They didn't grow up learning about investments and, you know, friendships and relationships and how to sustain things. They, they have none of the tools. And you put these people out here, it's like building them up to watch them fall apart. It's a game. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Um, and yeah, uh, it's game night tonight. And um, tomorrow night, um, it's Candy Lee V's talk show. And then Friday for Dunny. Ooh, Dunny, I'm going to be out of town, but we're going to see. We're going to see what we can do. We're going to see what we can do. I may have to play you in the background because I got a lot going on. But. I'll try. I guess on my way down, I'll run you in in the car. All right. Well, I'll see you guys later. Going into this job, y'all know I don't want to go into this job, but I'm gonna go anyway because the money's good. That's the only reason. I promise you, that's the only reason why I go. Only reason why I go. Um, have a good day, y'all. Bye.